What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool live stream slash video and today we are playing Planet Coaster once again and we are for the 10th episode here today we are going to be doing a live stream of the Silver Dollar City recreation and I uh, got a lot of hopes and uh, my goal in this live stream is to pretty much get this area done and get Outlaw Run finished. Um, there's a lot of things I want to do and a lot of stuff I want to accomplish and um, I got my reference photos. I got a crap ton of reference photos today um, because I was on park and uh, was able to snatch up a lot of reference photos today which is fantastic. Um, uh, so it's going to be really cool. Now, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Um, the main parts that I wanted to work on to get started is the gift shop slash exit area, since that is kind of empty over here. Um, I got some, I, I literally got angles of like everything I possibly could, so that's going to be a huge, huge thing for us here. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get this started, and to get started, we're going to go ahead and get into the building, and, uh, we're going to get going here. So, let me look at some of my reference photos. Looking good. Uh, Alright, so this first piece that we're going to do, that we'll go across here, it actually has a little bit of a angle to it. Like a very, very slight angle, not much. And we'll get into that. So here we go. Um, as for wall pieces, uh, I don't know what the bottom is. It's kind of. Uh, we're just gonna use the same thing, and I'll change it later if I need to change the texture of it. But for right now, we're going to keep at what we are doing here. All right. So what we're gonna be doing is using the angle snap. Uh, off because this is a very 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 slight angle not much of an angle at all it's practically straight but like just that slightest angle that will make the difference here all right so and yes this is outlaw run we are in the recreation of silver dollar city and my goal for today is to try and pretty much finish this up um, because I actually got some pictures of the square now, which will actually help out a lot um, for what we're going to be doing today, or what we're going to be doing. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get that nasty green color that is on this building as well. It's kind of like a washed out green. Um, it's, it's actually slightly off from that one. Um, it's a little bit... A little bit of a greener tint to it. Not a whole lot. And it's actually more of this texture down here uh, now that I'm looking at it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick to this texture. And it actually is about this green. It's a probably just a little bit uh, kind of a different color. Um, It's got more of a yellowish tint to it, so... Uh, very close right here. Around right there. This will do. Very much so. Uh, I would say it's about two wall pieces. Maybe not even. Like, we might go with more of like this. Kind of like one and a half. Yeah. I don't want to go too far this direction. That is for sure. All right, so this is a very simple little spot right here. It's kind of where a window for the uh, gift shop, and there's actually a sign over the top that says Stagecoach Supplies. Um, so nothing too fancy here. Um, as for this, um, I'm going to edit this building, and this is what we're actually going to do. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, oh, I don't know how that's going to work. Actually, we'll just keep that <laughs> on second thought. And I'm actually going to take this building and move it. This will actually work a lot better. Because there's not that as much a gap here. There's like hardly any gap between this right here. If any. There actually isn't any. So this should be about right there. Alright, there we go. That will work just perfectly. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is actually make the window here. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of advanced building because it looks like it has kind of, um, it is pretty much white here, uh, white window. Um, it's a double window, so we'll put these here. And then there is a smaller section on top of that. Um, let's see what we can find that will fit kind of in this category. So we could do, whoops, not what I wanted there. All right, so I'm going to go and do the same thing. Uh, what would work well? I'm going to say this, and uh, we'll turn angle snap on here. This will actually work the best. And turning this sideways, let's line that up there. That will look quite good. And, um, actually, it's kind of a tough one. Um, let's actually see if I can put that there. And, uh, we'll rotate this to the other side, because this is actually pretty even. Um, like that. That's not bad. Uh, at least the best we're going to get for right now. Now, there are some shutters... Uh, on the other outside, they're obviously fake shutters. Let's see if I can't get a better closer up photo here. I got a lot of reference photos of everything, so um, I'm going to be using those a lot today. All right, so it's kind of like some wooden planks, so that's going to be pretty simple. Uh, so we can actually use, see how thick these are. These should work. Let's line them up here. These are actually red uh, shutters over here. And this looks like it might be just about the exact size that we need. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use these. Go ahead and use these. All right, so we'll change the color. It's kind of uh, not completely red, more like an orangish red. Not that orange. More closer to red than orange. Let's see. Probably, I'd say, because it is a little bit washed out, kind of a washed out color. I'm trying to get the colors as best as I can, because I'm actually going to recolor these once again, the, the pathways, because it is closer to a gray these days. Um, they're actually supposed to be like kind of like a brown, but um, they kind of come off more of grayish than brown, which makes things kind of interesting. All right, I'm looking at the photo, and I'm trying to get this exactly right. It's pretty close right there. Pretty darn close. Pretty stinking close. So we're going to go with that. We're going to place these together. There's about three or four planks worth. I don't want to make them too large. But um, I think that would be good about right there. And uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to do Control x and we're going to get the smaller piece up. And we're going to make this white. Uh, you know you're going into a lot of details when you're going in or doing this. All right, so we're going to rotate this horizontally like this. And uh, since there's no fighting textures, it is pulled out just a smidge. And this is slightly above, kind of like that. That will go there. And uh, the same thing at the top. I'm going to add probably another plank to this, just so it's kind of more evened out. Alright, so we're going to go Control x again, and then there is a diagonal piece going from side to side here. You know we're going in some really interesting details when um, we're doing this much detailing on this stuff. So, Alright, so we'll do Control x here, and we're going to... Uh, line you up there. There we go. And this is on both sides of of this section here. I'm trying to... I have so many photos that I'm trying to get to the proper one for my reference here. All right, that's there. And uh, I got the other side. All right, good. All right, so the only difference from the other side is this is going that way. I have so much patience. Trust me. With this park, I want to make sure this park is correct. As correct can be. Like, I want to detail this very, very well. 
All right, that's okay because we're gonna have to delete that side anyways, or that piece anyways. So here we go. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're not gonna not delete it. We're just gonna switch the sides. Whoops. Kind of like so, and that will go about right there. I clicked you. There you go. And right there. All right, and then we can delete that one. And there's that window looking pretty good, and it's probably pretty evenly spaced where it's supposed to be. There we go. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a trim detail. Is this too thick? Probably. On top of here, it's kind of got like a trim up here for the the window ish that looks pretty good um, I think I'm gonna do this all the way around so it looks like it all fits together a little bit better and uh, it's kinda got that fra white frame around it anyways so that will actually look a little bit better here give it more of a old look There we go. And the bottom pieces here. And that one's looking quite nice. Um, it looks like they got a little bit of a trim right about there. Um, let me take a look here. I'm gonna zoom in on my picture here and see how this looks. Oh, okay, that's how it, that's how it works. Okay, so the trim Actually, um, I'm going to change the bottom pieces as well. The trim actually goes all the way across here. So I'm actually going to delete some of these, try and get as rid of those fighting textures as much as possible. And we're going to make this go all the way across, like so, like it shows. And I'm going to change these pieces now that I zoomed in. I can actually see this better. Um, it actually is kind of the opposite of the other building, or the front entrance building. So what we're going to do is um, use this instead. Where's the one? I need the 1H. There we go. This is going to go here. We're going to change the grid size and the color. Uh, this has kind of a, a little bit of a lighter washed out green to it. Like, much washed out. Like, it's pretty darn close to white. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's good. Alright, and um, the only kind of inaccuracy I'm having here is that I probably need to move all of this down. So, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of it. I'm going to deselect the stuff I don't want selected here. I think that's it. Oops, I didn't mean to actually do that. I meant to move it, not copy it. Alright, that's good. So now we'll press X. Oh, you can't tell me that wasn't selected. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. Because the trim actually transitions the different texture change on the wall, which looks pretty good. Alright, that's looking quite nice. Let me zoom out a little bit here, and above that will actually be the sign that says West or, uh, Stagecoach Supplies. Or Stagecoach Supplies, so we're going to find a nice scenery piece. or It's actually under building. Um, a wall sign. Let's go themed signs. It's a nice little wooden... Um, themed sign. Um, it's got mostly round edges, but something like this could work, and we can just like shape it off on the edges um, using other scenery pieces. So what we're gonna do here is, let's see, find one that's a pretty decently good size here. I think this one is the best option. So let's do that. 
And it's just got a little gap there, and it's perfectly centered, hopefully. And we're going to change the color of this because it is kind of a yellowish color to it. Kind of a washed out yellow, kind of like that. That looks, that looks good right there. As for the other color, um, it should be about the same. And then you have the words on it, so um, we're just going to put um, stagecoach, if I can spell, or type rather. Alright, so I'm going to have to put this in two words. Um, they're above each other anyways, so hopefully that will work out anyway. Alright, so this is kind of a... The text color is actually a red. Not like a complete red. It's kind of like a dark red. A very dark red. I think that will... That looks pretty good right there. It doesn't really actually have an outline to it, so that's kind of fun. Or interesting to do, so... Um... If I use the exact same red, which didn't come up, <laughs> which makes things a little bit more difficult. That looks alright. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, my plan is to add on to this sign here that actually says supply. It's actually in bigger fonts. Um... Let's see. It's not going to work very well. Again, there's going to be always going to be inaccuracies because I can't always get this the way I want it. Um, so what if I changed this to the supply board? So this will be supply. And then the other one will be the stagecoach. Which, let's see how this works. I wish you could kind of change the color or the font size a little bit. I'm kind of lagging out a little bit there. Um, the only other option really is to just have like a extra smaller sign up here, kind of what I like what I did for the entrance. Um, there's not really much I can do here. So what we're going to be doing is uh, put the stagecoach on here, and it should be smaller anyways. I can even spell it once again. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we'll choose the... Should be about the same exact red. Nice and dark. About right around there. It doesn't save this color. I don't know if it's kind of like a glitch or anything like that. Um, but every time you click on it, it's kind of hard to figure out how to make that work. Yeah, they still have the clocks that tick. <laughs> That's actually right here, and I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for that yet. <laughs> they they still tick, and uh, thankfully, I actually I actually know how to turn those things off. But um, we're not allowed to turn turn those off, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, why not, man? <laughs> These things get annoying. Then again, after a while, they do kind of, you kind of just kind of tone them out <laughs> afterwards. So, um, let's see. It's a little bit too thick. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, if I rotated this one, it might not be too bad. I'm trying to fill in the gaps here, but, um, obviously this isn't going to be perfect. There's only so much you can do sometimes. To make it look exactly the same. And I'm going to do my my darndest to try. I can promise you that. Oh, my phone turned off. <laughs> that is where my stuff is. If enough people complained, would you turn them off? No. <laughs> because most people are going to complain about that. And it's part of the theme. It is part of the theme, so they will not do that. <laughs> um, I guess we can use these because there's not really any good things to use for this. 
I don't know. I'm just going to have to leave out the curve. Because there's not really anything else I can do about it. So the trim is just going to be rectangular around it. Minor, minor details that uh, we're going to have to uh, not worry about, unfortunately. But, uh, hey, that's what it's going to have to be sometimes. Alright, so it's got that washed out green color. And we'll just kind of place this across like this. Um, we'll also put it all the way around. Like so. It's going to have to go all the way around a little bit more. I didn't want to do that. I pulled the wrong thing. There's like more text on here, but it's like so small, so I'm not really going to worry about it as much. Again, I want this to be as accurate as possible, but um, some limitations kind of make it a little bit hard to get it 100% flawless. Um, it's not always going to happen. I do my best sometimes, but it's not always going to happen. No, I'm not trying to pull that one. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to move you just a little bit. And, um, I don't know if I can move you much. Yeah, yeah, I can. There we go. There we go, that's looking pretty, quite nice. So much detail on just, like, one wall that's, like, not even supposed to be as detailed. And we're here, here I am spending, like, 20 minutes on this one wall. <laughs> But it will be worth it in the end. <laughs> At least that's the hopes. Alright, so we're going to get back into the walls here and find the uh, same wall here. It's gonna go, we're gonna go 1H. We're gonna turn that grid size off and the grid height. Oh my gosh, get out of my face. And we're gonna want this. Man, not even centered. Can't even get it centered. <laughs> Darn, that actually is going to bring up some issues here. I wish I could put it right in the center. But I cannot. I could make this wall a little bit longer. That's an option. But do I want to do that? Is this... If I had half on each side, maybe that would work. I'm going to try it. This actually should be the same color as... The other ones there. There we go. So I'm going to move you out like that. And move you out like that. Causing me... Yeah, this is too close to this anyways. Um, causing me to move everything over to the left. So we're going to deselect all this. And we're going to move these things over just a smidge. Like so. Only thing we're going to have to change is we're going to have to pull you out and make you go all the way across. Like that. Alright, this will work. That's still not the right color. I think that one's right. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so there's a little bit of trims going on over here and I'm gonna do kind of like what I did up here for the same thing because it's kind of the kind of very similar it is just slightly shorter than this piece up here I think it'll be it'll be good it'll be fine there we go and as for the color this is kind of already the correct color which works perfect for me all right, so not that. We're going to start right here. We'll rotate it this way. Just for the gift shop to look properly correct. There we go. And this is going to go right here, it looks like. Just fine. 
That looks good. All right, and we will get the ones over here as well. And I'm going to be honest, this piece is actually not as tall as I'm making it right now. It's a little bit shorter. But I think we'll be okay. Eh, eh, we'll leave it. There we go. Alright, so there's uh, another smaller trim right under that. So we will use this piece, except it is going to be the exact same color. That washed out green color. Because it's about the same color, but you're not going to get it perfect here. Even though we should. Always go for perfection. There we go. And uh, we'll add one more trim above right here to connect the two together. All right, we will need the smaller piece. All right, same thing for this side. There we go. Let's see if I can't move you to be a little bit more even over here. Nope. It's perfect. <laughs> Phone, stay on. I'm, I'm, you are my, uh, you are my uh, reference photos here. <laughs> I need you. Ooh, there's a little extra detail up here, um, which is actually quite nice to note. There's actually two little pieces. I never actually noticed this in real life either. There's actually two wooden beams coming out right here. Not that large, though. They're pretty small. I don't think there's anything better than this, so we might have to use this anyways. They're not this big, but uh, the other ones are too small. And this is the only one that works, so <laughs> we're going with this one. Um, it's kind of a darker green. We'll go with that one. And these hang up here, which have, if we go to decorations... And, uh, lights. We will find what we will not need here. It's, like, uh, it's under scenery lights. Lights here. And, uh, these actually look almost exactly perfect for what we need. And these are gonna be hanging off these little blocks of wood. And it literally is, like, two blocks of wood hanging these things up. Just for these lights. And I've never actually noticed them before. <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay, now we get... Um, that's pretty much it for this side of the building. There's not really any other details uh, that I see. So that will be that. And now we will move on to the next part of the building. Which is going to be the entrance to the gift shop. Which is pretty simple, actually. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with this. Um, we'll just get the walls down, and we'll go from there. So, we're going to do a separate building for this, uh, because it is angled slightly different. And uh, its walls uh, just need to use these down here. This one will work the best. And it is about the same height exactly as uh, this wall over here. So we'll keep that in mind. Now I want to try and make sure this is the same color. Is that the same color? 
If it's not, it's very close. It's very, very close. All right, so this we're gonna get started over here, and uh, this is gonna be bent is actually bent quite a bit more this way, and I need to make sure this is gonna be lined up where the exit is going to be because the um, there's gonna be a pathway going across over here, and this is actually going to be the gift shop. I think we're actually looking pretty good proportion wise, um, but it's kind of bent. Let's see quite a bit this way. If it's slightly off, we're not going to worry too much about it. I don't want to really go too much further bending it than this. I think this is actually pretty darn good, pretty darn close. Pretty darn good right there. And then this is going to be the little wood chip area. Because this starts pretty much the entrance of the uh gift shop itself. Uh, for right now I'm just going to have a wall there, but I'm going to create an opening uh, in the future, actually. I'm going to create an opening there uh, so guests can actually walk through because that's the actual exit. Alright, this is actually just slightly shorter than that up there. So that's something else to note. And then there is also a wall that goes right here that is not as tall. So I guess that kind of helps. It's kind of about right here, but it's also like very small, a small, right? Half, half a wall at the same time. So um, we're going to put this here and um, this is going to go, this is about too wide. And this is actually where the Kodak building is for the... Uh, pictures and stuff where you will uh, be at the counter for the pictures um, because I actually know the interior of this building very well I didn't get any pictures but um, we're not going to be worrying too much on interior uh, as of right now I may someday down the down the line in the future but we're going to focus more on exterior uh, and so, and uh, mo mostly that stuff like that all right so what we're going to do here is actually I'm going to get rid of these now I, I just put those down as a reference and we're going to create an opening here for the actual um, door itself. It's a pretty large door, uh, and that's actually a pretty good height, I think, for the door itself. Um, and what we're going to do is add a little detail here. Um, there's a lot of, there's a bit of trimming here as well uh, on the buildings, which we'll get to in just a moment. But I wanted to get the door in here. It actually uses uh, as I could use is kind of like this and they slide it it's actually a sliding door that opens up so I'm gonna act like it's slid over to the side here like it is open because they actually slide this door open and close um, it's a little bit too small but um, that's gonna be a minor detail that no one will notice because it's gonna be off to the side uh, like it's opened Kind of. That's kind of what we're gonna, how we're gonna approach this, because the um, this is actually this wall is actually not uh, as big. There, this opening's not as big as it shows here, so um, we're gonna kind of cheat and hide that just a little bit. Um, we're gonna recolor this. It's actually kind of that uh, ugly red orangish color that was over on these kind of the same kind of principle. And there's a little bit extra detail that I might actually add to them. As well, I might even make the door myself, and uh, when it's all said and done, rather than using this. But uh, we can use this kind of as a placeholder. Getting this color is very difficult. That's the closest right now, so that's gonna be cool. All right, so um, there is a piece up here, an awning, kind of. Uh, that so this one will actually work pretty well. It's actually longer than that um, So I might use something different um, Let's see here. I might even make my own custom awning here just for the sake of it phone stop turning off I'm still using you <laughs> All right, so we're gonna you let's get the uh, so all right, so let's get the trims down uh, for right now 
uh, first. I think that's a better idea anyways. So there's actually a trim here, or actually more of a support here. And this is going to be about even right here with this. And it's going to run over here. Like so. We're going to go up here. And there is going to, this is going to go all the way across. It's about a good height. And there's actually just a little bit of access, excess going off to the side here. Which will be just fine. This will connect to there. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the looks of this. This is looking good. And then we kind of want to do something kind of like what we did here. Um, this might actually be too thick now that I think about it. Yeah, we're going to use the smaller ones. I apologize. All right, so we're going to use the smaller ones like we did on the other ones because they're pretty much the same. Um, last second decisions that are being changed. <laughs> All right, so this will go to the green. It's kind of a darkish green. That looks pretty good. And we'll make this even with that. Now we're going to take um, this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Still hate that glitch. And it, it does pretty much line up with this right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. And... Um, we're actually going to create the horizontal piece here and go across. That way I can kind of get an idea of how tall I need to make that piece in the first place. There we go. So we're going to build this all the way across this direction. I guess it doesn't really matter because this is going to head off to the side just a little bit. Not, I don't want to overdo it, but there we go. Now what we're going to do is get the smaller piece and do this little number. Because uh, I find that to be a nice little important detail. That will look fantastic. Now we can move this to the other side. Actually, I only needed one. <laughs> So that's okay. I'll delete the other one just a second. There we go. And don't need you. All right, that's looking quite good. All right. Um, and now uh, I could kind of create it like I did this. Why does this have a different colored <laughs> beam? Why is that? Why is that beam a different color? I feel like I, it's done that before, too. I believe I just used one of these. Sometimes you lose the color, and you're going to reuse that color, and sometimes you lose it, and it kind of sucks, because you have to try and find that color again in the um, advanced color picker. Yeah, I think I'm going to change that door. I don't really like it. It, does, it doesn't... It's definitely the wrong color. I'm going to have to change the color again. And I think I'm just going to build my own, because it's like completely different than that so we're just gonna build our own and uh, I think it's gonna be actually quite simple so I'm just gonna use this small piece as long as we can find the right colors here so what we're gonna do is find the correct color for this and it is kind of a reddish orange that's pretty close right there I think I'm gonna use that All right, and this will be about even right there. Yeah, if you don't have more than like a couple, then it always does that. So um, I'm just gonna build this across, kind of like so. Eh. I keep changing my mind on everything, but um, I'm just like, well, no, that's actually thicker. And there's less 
would actually be easier anyways. And there's like one, two, three, four, about five of these in the real picture. So I'm like, eh, those are pretty big. Three, four, and five. You know, you're a perfectionist when um, you even have to create the, your own door for it <laughs> as well. So this is going to be about the same height as the door itself, or the thing itself. And then uh, it's got a trim on the outside, and we can easily use that with this that is white. Um, it is close to white. It's like a very washed out green. Just a very slight green tint to it. Like so. There's also a little bit of design on the door as well. And then darn you fighting textures. So that will be like that. And then it pretty much has a huge X on it. So we are literally going to make this go like this. And it will go... I guess we'll have to turn angle snap off to try and get this perfect. At least close to as perfect as possible. I'm going to sink this in just a smidge. That'll work. I guess I could use the smaller one, try and get rid of that fighting texture. Alright, good. There we go, control X. Whoops, nope, did not want to do that. And we're going to rotate it exactly the other way. Oh gosh. Move it up just a little bit, and that looks pretty good right there. That looks a lot better. <laughs> a lot, a lot better. All right. Now there is a trim around the door itself, as well. You know, um, it's a little bit in the shade here, so I can't see it as good um, as I'd hoped. Um. All right, so this piece actually continues on for about a whole entire block that way. Maybe not as much, but um, it's pretty, pretty close. Pretty darn close. And I actually think we're going to move this over just a pinch more. Because I am a perfectionist, apparently. When it comes to this stuff. Alright, instead, I'm just going to highlight it all. Get rid of the stuff that I don't want. And move it over. Kind of like that. So there's a little bit more opening there. There we go. I'm hard to satisfy when it comes to I'm like, it's got to be perfect. Oops. Angle snap still off. All right, uh, this is about the right color. At least I think it is. Oh my goodness, just go, there we go. <laughs> You're gonna go all the way over here and go all the way across like so. That looks good. And I believe, looking really close, there's also a trim at the bottom of the, uh, of this as well. Kind of like that. There's actually a part that's going about midway up, or not quite midway, but right there. 
about right there. Alrighty, that's looking quite nice for the entrance of this building. For the gift shop portion of of this area. And now, um, let's see, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. I'm going to see if I can do this the way I want. Which I think I can pull it off, so... We're going to turn off angle snap. And we are going to make this... That actually does hang off just a little bit. So just kidding. I'm going to try and do the same thing I kind of did with the uh, first one. So we're just going to build this all the way across. Alright, speed things up. We're just going to duplicate three at a time. Make sure they're nice and... Oh, okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted it to do. Can't really stand fighting textures very much, though. So we're going to try and avoid that as best as we can. There we go. That looks pretty, pretty good. But you don't want, like, that gap in them as well. So it gets kind of annoying at times. All right, that's good right there. Now we'll over, we will get you all the way over. Slow and tedious, but... We want to make sure it's done. All right, and um, I actually don't want to do three there. We'll just do by one now, because it's only going to go till we hit that beam right there. So about right there. All right, and now we are going to select all of these. And push it all the way into... Oh, of course you wouldn't do that. That's okay. We'll get this. Perfect. Almost perfect. <laughs> Just kidding. Now this doesn't quite look like this in real life. Because these are wooden and... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on game. Alright, that's more perfect. And they are hanging off just a... Come on, camera. <laughs> what? What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, that was probably really loud. And I apologize. <laughs> In advance. Alright, so... As for Overwatch... Will, will I play Overwatch? Of course I play, I'll play Overwatch. Will I record Overwatch? Sometimes. Not all the time, though. Alright, so there are some kind of supports here. And since I made this so thin, I'm going to try and have it like that. And say, hey, that will work. <laughs> All right, not perfect. By no means, it's never going to be. All right, there's nothing on that pole, so we'll just leave it like it is. And uh, we have the exact same kind of like lamps uh, over here as well. So I will put those on as best as I can. 
I don't know if I can go to scenery for this, but... I'm just going to place these like this and uh, make them look like that color. That's actually a pretty good color there. I'm going to put these over here. And we're going to put some nice lamps on them, which is under scenery. And these lamps look or work quite nicely for this. Not the exact color, but um, you're not going to get anything any closer in the game, so... And they're not really hung on by um, these little doohickeys, but um, I think it looks better than nothing. <laughs> Just in my opinion. Alright, quite interesting little spot right here. I'm actually going to delete this because there actually is kind of a texture change here. Which is quite an interesting thing. So what we're going to do... Um, it, changes at the bottom by like a 1H kind of deal and it's kind of like a washed out kind of yellow almost could go with go with green but when I say washed out it's kind of like that all right so we're gonna go to grid height it's about that much Alright, so we're going to go back to this texture. Or, yeah, this texture. Get that there, and there's a trim around it. That looks pretty good. Trust me, it takes a lot of patience to build stuff, or do stuff like this. And especially being a slower builder like I am. Because I do consider myself to be a very slow builder. A lot of people agree. A lot of people don't like that. But I'm, you know, there's there's no no point of rushing your um, really big projects that you're very passionate about. Because if you rush them, you could get yourself in a little bit of trouble. And it will turn out the way you do not want them sometimes. And we don't want that. Alright, so after this, I do kind of want to make the exit pathway that heads into the building here. Into the exit building, which is coming along quite nicely. I'm going to go to roofs here. And see if I can't get... Uh, this is probably what I should have used. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I'm dumb. This probably would have worked a lot better. And look a lot better. Dumb Joe. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and delete all this stuff. And uh, we're going to use... Probably the gentlest slope here, and uh, we got height all the way down. It will be okay going through there um, for right now, because we're gonna actually going to add on to that just a little bit more. So that actually will be a-okay. This one is slightly lower, but just slightly. And it's actually going to turn around here. At least that's what it looks like. So I'm going to say yes. <laughs> kind of like that. Hey, we did a little bit of roof. Yay. <laughs> okay, so there's... Uh, now that I see this, we're going to go ahead and extend this all the way up. Because that goes all the way up. I like how you said it. It isn't slow. It's taking your time to make making things correct. Very wise words. Hey. Gosh darn phone. I wasn't done looking at that. <laughs> I 
All right, so we want to make sure we have all the nice little trims going up here around. I always call it trims because it's kind of trimming the building. <clears throat> and uh, this will go all the way up as well. But literally, there's just like a random different texture right here, which is actually kind of interesting. And it actually looks exactly like that. <laughs> At least for the most part. There's also like a crate here that actually has like uh, some device where you can like buy your photos, I think, from the uh, ride or something like that. So I'm not entirely sure um, because I've never really paid attention to it. <laughs> All right, we're going to make this just slightly taller by, like, literally... I want to at least make it taller than that, so we'll make it that much taller. And we'll put one, of course, right there. And uh, we're going to do a similar thing. Uh, we're going to find this. And use it on here as well. All right, I just, I just, okay, stop rotating so fast. You good? Okay, you're good. All right, I'm just going to use white on here. I think it's the same color, but I think it's closer to white. And this doesn't actually connect, but oh well. Alright. And then, of course, the trim right underneath. And we'll put this all the way across as well. Thought I clicked. Click. I just can't believe what I've gotten myself into, how much, with the detailing that I'm doing, how long this is actually going to take me, because I haven't even gotten into a lot of the, <laughs> the city and stuff, and um, I think I'm going to redo a lot of the entrance and stuff like uh, that, uh, because um, proportion-wise, I think I need to work on it a little bit more, and uh, maybe almost rework the entire entrance area. Because I wasn't completely satisfied with it. I don't know why I clicked out of that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add some flat roofs in here. To kind of serve as the pathway. So we're just going to use these concrete slabs. Like usual. It's going to gonna have... I like that color. We'll stick with that. All right, so I don't want to go. I'm not gonna go too far into the that until we get the exit made here. And uh, we want to get an idea. Let me switch reference photos here because I got a backside of the shop as well. As well as a side view. There it is. Okay, so I kind of want to figure out where the back of the shop is and start building on that. And then we'll connect the dots. Uh, so there is a kind of like a chicken exit here. Um, if that's what you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is actually build this out. But it's not that big. So we're going to use just half the size for this right here. And let me see. There's actually a fence that goes here and the building uh the building will actually connect with this wall here. So, um, we're going to go into this building 
and it is the same texture and everything. And this isn't actually perfectly straight in the wall anyways, it's actually like that. They're like, there's a little small corner to this chicken exit and stuff. I call it a chicken exit, but... But there is a little bit of a distance here. I want this to make sure this is even, so we're going to change the height to about right here. And that's actually where it's going to go. Because as far as I know, this actually is straight. Like so. Maybe it is a little bit smaller. We'll see. Maybe it is at this height instead. Kind of like so. Which works pretty well right there, honestly. We'll get more into detail that a little bit later, so. But um, there is a little bit more of nice little bit of pathway right at the entrance here of this. I won't put one there because there's going to be like some stairs right here in that spot to go down to the little chicken exit there. Um, it's not really a chicken exit. It's actually an emergency exit, but it's pretty much the same thing because it, it's anyone can use it. You don't have to use it um, if it's an emergency. Like it's not for an emergency, just for an emergency. I mean, it's an emergency exit. It says emergency only on it, but um, we don't. You don't have to use it for an emergency. Just so you know. All right. So this. It's going to turn out hopefully quite nice. And now we're going to have to figure out what I'm going to be doing here, actually. Um, this is going to be interesting. All right, so I got some reference photos of this as well as the exit that goes out. I, like I said, I took photos all day today of just trying to get reference of the area just a little bit better in specific areas that I was a little unsure of. And not really unsure. I wasn't really any ever unsure. Um, one thing that is interesting is I do kind of have this uh, just slightly off because this door is actually further down this way. So I did kind of mess that up just a tiny bit. Um, so hopefully you can forgive me. It's either that or completely redo the coaster and pull this out forward just a little bit more, <laughs> which is also another option, but um, I don't know if I really want to do that because I've been working on this layout for a long time now, and it's still not perfect. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I thought I got a better picture. Is that the only picture I got of the exits? No. I got a couple here. That's probably one of the best. But I also have Google Maps up at the same time, so that kind of helps a little bit as well. Because it will. It's got a little bit of an angle and then it goes straight. Like it's perfectly aligned with the lift right here, going straight. And then perfectly aligned going this way. And then it just kind of connects to this. So I think it would be easier to create the horizontal pieces right here. So I'm going to go to building. And it's going to take about a full slab right here of platforms. And we're going to align this perfectly to the lift. As best as we can. All right, so we'll use the advanced tool here. I don't want to make it too tall or short. And it is mainly 
All right, as for height, I think that's pretty good. All right, we're going to do about that much, and then it will um, do the curve there, and this will go... Hmm. It's not perfect. <laughs> to say the least, it's not perfect. Because there's so many different proportion stuff that you have to worry about when doing recreations, and it's very, very difficult at times, because this actually continues to go straight right here. Uh, let me look here. Got all my reference photos. Okay, so it actually does curve. That actually will work out okay. Now that I'm looking at it. Because this will go here. And all these are actually at a slight angle as well. I'd say it's about a full slab worth, too, because there's actually a fence that goes in the middle as well. That's all. We'll do that. So this will break off and go that way. So that actually will be okay. Quite nice. Huh. Oh, lost my controls there for a moment. All right, as for the structure here, should be able to maybe just use these. All right, I'm going to turn the grid size off. Yeah, it'd be better over there. Pretty much. All right, so I can actually just copy these. All right, that actually will fit quite nicely. Not too bad. Uh, we will build the fences as well. They're actually the same fences as you see right here. Uh, going around over there. Or fairly similar rather as well and I got an idea of how maybe eh, maybe not all right so now we got to figure out how we're gonna get the angles on here properly and uh, align them perfectly to over here so what we're going to do because it does go down uh, as an inclined angle going this way, obviously, since it is a little bit higher up. So we're actually going to go edit this building and make that incline. And the way I've been doing inclines lately, I can change the texture later, but I've been taking this um, roof piece. And I found this to work quite well. I mean, there's probably other pieces you can use, but... So what we're going to do is... Alright, the exit gate is going to be right here. Oh gosh. And we can... Kind of get an idea of where this is going to land. Now, it's not super steep, so I might just make the angle, or I'm going to turn angle snap off. It's a very, 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 very slight incline. And we have plenty of space for the incline to uh, take place here, so it's not a huge deal. Alright, so we're going to go to the points. Where it's all right, so we're gonna have to incline it just a little bit more than that, obviously. All right, so what we're gonna do is match this up with this level, kind of a, t a very long process of trying to get this correct. 
but it's okay. Alright, that would work right there, but I still feel like we're... Alright, how about that? I should have just placed another piece right there, so I wouldn't have this issue as much. But since I'm already in there... I could just keep it at the same spot, but... Where would be the fun in that? Alright, that would be good right there. Of course I would do that. <laughs> of course I'd press the wrong thing. Alright, so I gotta put this in a certain spot. Ugh. Didn't think it through enough. Because this is kind of a very advanced trying to figure out how this is going to work. Alright, that will look like it'll be good. Now i got to double it to the other side as well. So we will copy and paste it to this side as well. Only problem with this is gonna it's gonna have those fighting textures, but um, I'm gonna like layer over this, so it's actually gonna be a different. So it will be different. All right, so I'm gonna increase this up to there, and we will do the same thing to here. Like so. I'm going to do control D and we're going to actually um angle snap actually needs to be on. And we're going to connect these two together. Now I know they're not the same textures uh, but we're going to layer those with something new. If that makes sense. Alright, let me take a look at Google Maps to kind of see the shape of how this works. It just kind of angles off. So we want a nice smooth transition here. Hmm. That's going to be different. That's going to be. It's going to be uh, interesting there. Okay, it's easier said than done. This is definitely not a easy task. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this over here. It might things make things just slightly easier? And I probably should have done this from the beginning because this needs to be even with that. So we're gonna go back down to this piece. This is this is this is a very interesting spot to be in. So I'm going to use a guide. I think I know how I'm going to do this. So I think I have an idea of how this is going to, how, how this is all going to go down. Just so you know. I got a plan. I've been neglecting this part so long because I knew it was going to be t a difficult part. And uh, I knew I couldn't hold it off much longer. Because we're starting to get down to the real needy greedy stuff. Alright, so. Um, I'm going to get this part out of here, actually. Or edit this building. There we go. We're going to edit this building.
That's gonna go about right here. All right, so you see kind of the idea what we're going for here. And now this is gonna be here as a guide. This piece is not gonna be here in the end. Uh, it's going to be It's going to be deleted, but I'm going to use it as a guide, if that makes sense. Because I don't want this corner poking out here. So when we get the actual texture on, I'm going to use it as a guide and not put the texture in right there. Uh, so that's going to be like that. A Civitar City, a family-owned park. Or a company-owned park. Uh, the family, it's family-owned, but the family is, it's a company. It's Hershen Family Entertainment. So it is a family park, or it's family-owned, but it's also actually a company. Uh, because they own multiple things. Um, and uh, Dollywood is actually the sister park to Silver Dollar City. And um, they're partial owners of Dollywood. The ones that own Silver Dollar City. They own, like, I think they own about 26 different properties. So, um, it is the long, it's the largest family, o largest family owned theme park chain, in or largest, what is it? Largest family owned chain in America. Something like that. <laughs> My facts are probably slightly off, but I, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to figure out what kind of texture I'm going to use for this. I could use the wood, uh, wooden texture. It actually has like a plank kind of texture to it in the actual thing. Let me see. Trying to get a good picture. But the incline part is different from uh, these parts over here. So that's going to be interesting as well there we'll put that there all right so what we're gonna do and this is gonna be a long long um unfun part <laughs> unfortunately hopefully not too long like it'll be long but not like it will take a while but it's not going to be ridiculous. It is, but it isn't. Alright, I'm going to start right here, and then we'll get into how that's going to play out. See so what I'm going to do. It's kind of like this. And we get into this fun stuff right here. Uh, shoot me now. Just shoot me now. I'm gonna try and speed up the process as much as possible by selecting more. But it actually is pretty similar to this texture. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, I want to get to a certain part fairly quickly, and when I say fairly quickly, at least before 2018, and that is kind of like the Thunderation area, which I'm sure I'll be able to get there before 2018. But um, the reason why is because, if you haven't known already, there is some construction going on over by Thunderation. And um, I actually want to create the construction site. <laughs> I know I'm not going to probably have the park done by the time that uh, new attraction opens. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And it didn't take as long as I thought it would, so. So what we're going to do now. 
That's actually perfectly aligned. Quite nice. I'm going to line you up here. Everything that you see is pretty much a guide. In a way. Like, this is pretty... Pretty insane stuff to try and get perfect. But what we're going to do is this. But to be honest, the incline doesn't actually start, if I'm correct. Uh, it does, actually. Never mind. I was incorrect, so never mind. <laughs> How long have I been streaming? Almost an hour and a half? It feels like f for a lot longer than that. Because <laughs> I'm getting rid of some of the stuff. I'm trying to get done with some a lot of the stuff that I've been neglecting. Because um, it has to get done. <laughs> and I was neglecting it because... For reasons. Because it was going to be... Some unfun parts. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta figure out how this is gonna all line up together. This is gonna come to this corner. Like so. And I think what we can do now is select these. I'm gonna try and do my best to get... Make sure it's not like fighting textures like you see right now. And we'll try and fix that as best as we can. Everything's kind of a guide at the moment. But you can kind of see how it's uh, how it's going to be shaping up. Because this maneuver right here is what throws it off because it's not straight. Um, it's kind of at an angle and not just straightforward. And that kind of throws me off a little bit. Alright, so you see all those fighting textures, it's all ugly, we don't want those. And we will get around to fixing that here in just a moment. I actually can not, need to stop uh, copying that top part. And just focus on the bottom pieces here. Kind of right there. And then... This piece will kind of slide in right there. Now, what we're going to do is try and get rid of a lot of this um, by... Oh, gosh. I don't really want to do it that way. I might actually have to keep, the, keep it that way, unfortunately. <sighs> Alright, if I get rid of that, we'll see how this is starting to look. Obviously, we're going to have to fill this in a little bit. It's going to be quite difficult. Quite difficult, indeed. I think it'll start all coming together once I start getting the uh, handrails and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I should use the small pieces here. So I'm going to delete these. Whoops. Kind of hard to select them. Or the other option is to try and make some of them a little bit taller than others to where it might not be as noticeable. That's another option. And we're going to try and see how this act that actually works. I'm actually going to try that. Control X. So I'm going to try and maybe make this one... Lower. I think lower is the better idea here. But you can see how that's going to actually help by going lower. And it's not going to be very noticeable. And that's the idea. Okay, we're going all the way across here. So 
looking quite good. Got a lot better anyways. You can see a distinct kind of crack there, but that or line there, but there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> I know the fighting textures are going to be very annoying for the most part here. Let's see, and this is... Let's see. This stays about even, but how close are we to, to that in the first place? This is actually taller, which brings up a little bit of an issue. Um, in all honesty... All right, before I get further... Hmm. Ah, it's hard to get stuff to match up to what it needs to be. That is for sure. All right, so I got an idea of how I'm going to make this almost perfect. What we're going to do is go to columns and use this piece, of course. It's kind of give us a nice looking base. And for these sections that obviously are kind of missing that thickness, we're going to do that. And then we can align this to this quite nicely. I'm going to delete this, uh, by the way, so that will be deleted. Excellent. I can get rid of that now. So that's starting to shape up just a little bit more. And... We're going to have to get this angle correct. There we go. That looks pretty darn close. But I'm going to raise it up to match the other one here. Kind of like that. And voila. Alright, so that's starting to look decent. All right, so should have took pictures of that. There's actually a part that I forgot to take pictures of a little bit. All right, um, because I don't like to do the same thing for the longest time, I'm going to take a break off of that section because that's going to be a pain in the butt. We're going to move on. Uh, I took reference photos specifically for this. We're going to move on to the station and try and get the roof on this place. Because we need a roof for this place. Most definitely. Okay, I'm trying to see how it looks from the outside as well. But uh, this will start looking pretty good, I think. It's actually not looking too bad right now, uh, shape-wise. Uh, even zoomed out, it's actually looking pretty pretty darn good. At least I, I think so. Pretty darn awesome. There's a couple of adjustments I do want to make to the transfer track as well. Since I got another good picture of that. Uh, so that will help out a lot, and then we'll work on the maintenance shop as well. Or we'll need to. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me get to my reference photo of the roof that I took. If I can find it. I have so many pictures on here. So many reference photos. Mm hmm 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 
And I think I might have went the wrong way. Maybe. No, there we are. Alright, there's the roof. Alright, so it's all centered to here, and the roof actually continues down into the maintenance shop as well. So it actually will go down like that. So I kind of want to create what this is going to look like. So um, I kind of started in this right here. Kind of be what we're going to go based off of. So our goal is to make this centered with the track. So about right there. And uh, we're just going to have to choose about how high this is going to be. Because i got to make sure that it's tall enough that it'll come down here and also accommodate the um, transfer or the storage building as well. Because it does come angled down here at the same time. So it is it is a pr pretty tall. So I'm going to try and make sure it's at a proper height. I think that will be pretty good right there. Alright, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to build a horizontal piece at the top here to represent the peak of this pretty much so that's how that's gonna that's how that, that's how that's gonna flow now as for the roof itself um, I need to figure out what kind of roof I'm gonna use for it if I'm gonna make a custom roof or if I'm actually going to make um, use one of the regular roofs which I think I could, but at the same time, I might use this method here as well. So I can make it at any angle that I want, and I think that would be a better idea. Because I'm either going to do that or use this kind of roof. And probably use this slanted, or this, kind of like this. And it will go all the way down there, but since I can't really center this to the center of the track, it might not work as well. Uh, and I gotta also keep in mind this side as well, because it's gonna come down over this way. So I'm looking at the top of Google Maps. Uh, every single roof uh, in this area on these buildings are all pitched. There's not really any flat areas, it looks like. Uh, so that's an interesting note. Uh, to make this is not going to go all the way down either actually I just saw it actually uh, stops about where the gift shop comes in so when the gift shop comes in it will actually stop right there uh, so that is something to note as well so what we're going to do is create the skeleton first <clears throat> of the roof I'm trying to really think this through just a little bit uh, before I get or tackle right into it and, you know, have to start over if I make a mistake. Because I want to try and avoid uh, the mistakes here. Uh, so, it's got those and it's got, like, angles as well. So, what we're going to want to do now is create the angle of the roof. This is going to be a very important part as well. And it's not very inclined like it's very very gentle so what I'm going to do is drag this by and see approximately where it lands down here I actually like that about where that is right there a lot because it's going to come down all the way over here so I think that will actually work very nicely so um, that's going to come down the skeleton itself, actually, in you can only see it in this area. So I'm going to end the skeleton when it gets to the wall. That's all we want. So now, with that, we can make some vertical pieces, which will be good. 
So we're going to make these vertical pieces as well. So I'm going to grab this. And pretty much just make this along the lines of here. And we will put one at the end as well, of course. Let's just, we're just going to use the, uh, we're just going to use that. There we go. This isn't going to be as important because it's not really going to be seen. All right, good. Uh, and then as for the color, these are, it's pretty close on color. So I think it'll look good. And what we're going to do is actually pull this back a little bit because it's not actually on the outside. So I'm going to select all these. Before we get too far. Because there are quite a few of these. I'm not going to count them by each one, but... Um, I made a mistake. Darn it. <laughs> Gotta redo that all again. I accidentally copied it rather than move it itself. Think before you do that. So I've never learned m more from building than actually making this um, recreation here, to be honest. I've learned so much more actually building this. Uh, it's actually helped a lot, a lot on my actual building skills as well in the game. And I think that's really, really cool. Really, really nice. Because my building skills, I think, have increased ever since I've been actually working on this. Because I'm, I had to work with stuff that I've never really, you know, thought of doing before. And it gives me ideas for, like, especially for Westwood, obviously, but... Uh, it works very, very well. Um, let me see here, and, um... Let's see, that's gonna come down. I, if I... Did I take any good photos over here? I should have a photo that should be... Perfect. I made so many photos. Surely I can find something after taking all these pictures. Surely I can find something that I'm looking for. I kinda wanna see where it ends in the station. On the roof-wise, you'll see what I'm talking about, hopefully, in just a moment. Okay, so actually... So that will go across that way. And, um... It's absent from the exit, I believe. Yeah, so that will actually go above that wall. <laughs> There's more things that I'm thinking about now. Oh, here's a good picture. It looks like it will be quite far above. Um, let's see. So if I... How does that work? I think it just goes to this right here. About right here. To this wall, actually. Which, there should be another a, a wall that's actually equal to this. Which I might actually make myself. Uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> and, um... Let me take a look at that front view again. I'm just trying to get this perfect. Okay. So that. And then we can level that off and cut those out like that. Okay, I think that I think that's going to work. All right. So um at least I hope it's going to work. <laughs> So we want to pull this out to a certain spot. It's a little bit far, that's all right. All right, so I'll go there. So I'm going to take the angle here. 
take all these and I am going to duplicate it. Gosh darn. I forgot to turn off grid size. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna... Let's do this again. Try this again. Because I want to get that. Stay on grid here. All right, I can put that there. That'll work. And then I'll just slide it on over. It's an easy way to get, uh, kind of mirror another side is just to do it that way. And then we can just simply slide it over. Guess it wasn't perfectly aligned. All right, that's really good right there. Fantastic. Oh gosh. I forgot to click. <laughs> I'm making mistakes. No mistakes. Otherwise, you're going to have to fix them. <laughs> All right. As long as this is in the proper spot. There we go. Boom. Place. Is this going to work properly? Hey, no, no. It's probably not now. Yeah, no. The good thing is we can just do this. Get about the right spot and then just crank it right up. This will go about uh, right there. And I actually don't need that, to be honest. I don't really need that. I think it's smaller on the inside. Probably don't know what I'm talking about, but... Ah, where's my pictures? Trying to find the correct photo. There it is. It... Eh, nah. It's bad. It's... Never mind. Forget. Forget what I was talking about. Alright, so now we get to create the rest of the skeleton here. It's a very interesting skeleton. Kind of skeleton to the roof here. I call it skeleton. But there's actually a lot of these. And um, I'm going to put one at the end and start this way and go from kind of this kind of way because my idea is to put one on each end this is to avoid you know it not being even and then we'll go to the middle as best as we can and then we'll go halfway on either side And then I'd say maybe one more for every spot. And that would be a pretty good good idea here. Some of them aren't perfect. And I can see it. This one's a little bit bigger than the rest, but that it will be okay. Alright, looking on the inside. Should I add another one? There's quite a lot of them. If I added another one... And make them about like that. And I feel like that's just too much. So we're going to go with that. That'll be all right. We're working on the roof. <laughs> okay. So as some people have already said, I need to move this. We will. Don't worry. I haven't made the outside yet. The outside of the exterior walls yet so um, I got a great picture here to go off of for this but it shouldn't be actually a problem I shouldn't ha even actually have to move it to be honest um, and you'll see why in just a little bit as for the texture of this I'm gonna be uh, 
have another um, interesting thing to do here because it's an interesting texture. And this is going to be like a washed out green. So we'll go to the green. Okay. But you believe me here. Just a moment. So this is going to be a very length, another, uh, oh gosh, another lengthy process. To, uh, because I pretty much have to create my own custom wall here. <sighs> we'll get her done. Just because of the way it shapes around, that's the reason why we're going to have to go a little bit different here. Um, this station's pretty plain on the outside. There's not really any windows or anything. So that's going to make one thing a little bit easier. So we're going to build this. And it's going to go about to the where it actually goes to about right here. And that works really perfectly for us. Same with this one. Ah. Uh, Cuz this is going to be all on the outside. And for, I'm going to try and really look into what other reference photos I need and uh, make sure I get those for future reference. All right, this actually does, this texture actually works quite well, I think. All right, that'll go about right there and that'll be perfect. Because we're going to have to shape it all the way around as well, which is also going to be another uh, difficult task. But I am up for the task because I got an idea here. So I'll actually work the way I want. There's actually a trim at the top, pretty thick trim that's going to help us out a lot. It really is. So there's a nice thick green kind of trim going alongside here and it will be pretty clear of why this is going to be very important because essentially this is going to Help us keep the um, the wall vertical instead of making these sideways and stuff. It's gonna help a lot. And then we're gonna put a vertical part of there, so that's not gonna be too much of an issue. Oh, I'm 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 getting pretty excited. All these trims and stuff are actually meant for the inside. So that's something to note. What building am I actually editing this with? All right, is this all together with this? All right, so that goes with that. That's different. Uh, I think as long I'm making sure that all the stuff is connected to the proper thing. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a part of this or something. Because when we put it in the actual save, we're going to have to piece all this together. Because i got to make sure all the total objects doesn't go over 2,000 for each section that I'm making. So each section, as you can see here, 
And there's some things I'm going to have to actually do um, later. Like the stagecoach itself, I'm going to have to change that. But the environment around it, I'll be able to add uh, around it. And then the stagecoach will be added separately. As you can see, all these. And uh, the... That will, oh, that's all going to be good. So all these are together. So that's going to be important. It should fit fairly nicely together. That's what I'm hoping. Okay. So we're going to get back to this. Whoops. Meant to do control X. Now do these fight? Not a whole lot, but you can definitely tell they're inside each other. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to... Put you there. And... I'm going to switch to a smaller one. Oh, come on. Stay the same cutter, man. Okay. So I ran into an issue. That uh, can definitely be fixed. Here in just a second. Gosh darn it, I didn't mean to actually delete that. See, my point is to actually have these in front. Like that. So I want the trim in front of those. All right, it'll all piece together. Uh, hopefully the way we want it. <laughs> all right, we're going to try and just close the gap here. Pretty time consuming. <laughs> but I'm committed. To get this, to get this going and done. <laughs> but um, I haven't heard your guys' thoughts too much about how you guys think this is going. So, how's this going? Is this looking pretty good? Have any of you actually been to Outlaw Run and actually know a little bit of how it looks like? Because I would like that feedback. I know personally how it looks, and I know. I'm not perfect. Gosh dang it, did I delete that by accident? The good thing about this is I don't have to worry too much about these like being uneven and stuff because in real life they're not perfect either. <laughs> Which is the beauty of it. Like, I don't usually go and this far in making my own custom walls and stuff like that. This is a little bit to the extreme, but it's worth it. But thank you guys. You guys are all saying it looks awesome. Uh, most of you haven't been there. But I'm I'm hoping it will look beautiful. <laughs> All right, we're starting to get to the point where it's gonna start doing that. I'm on the medium piece or the longer piece. There's only a. That's okay. Alright, so that's that side. <laughs> One tiny piece down, a kajillion more to go. Okay, let's get the smaller section out of the way. Ooh, this is going to be tight fit. That's okay, um, it doesn't have to be that way. Actually, it does. We'll make it a certain height. I got the lowest point here. Make this as 
It's actually about that big anyway, so that'll be good. That'll be okay. So I'll actually turn out. Okay. We're good. <laughs> we just got to remain very calm. <laughs> All right. Um, so this actually has a little bit of a unique shape to it. Uh, looking at it. So what we're going to do, this is going to come down. Like that. This is going to come down as well. I'm going to grab this. I believe we're already on the smallest as possible. And it's got like this little design here. I'm going to push it back so it's not noticeable. And that's a small one. And then there is a larger one that actually goes down over here. Is that place yet? Oops. So we want this to be a little bit larger. Kind of like that. This is going to tie into the other, because this is going to have a, the exact same thing. So we'll cover it up that way. And uh, until we get to a little bit further into that, uh, we're just going to leave that there at the moment. All right, as for this, I would say the station height here. It's different from the other side, so um, it's actually a perfect 90 degree angle right there. So we'll keep that the same. I'm just going to build these across right here for right now. It's got an interesting part at the top, which I will try and duplicate as best as I can. But I like the imperfections of it because in real life it actually does kind of look like an old 1880s building. So if you mess up a little bit or there's a little bit more of a crack, you know, it's okay because it's imperfected in real life as well. It is not perfect. All right, I'm just going to start raising these up. That's kind of a big gap. We'll fix that in just a moment. <laughs> a little bit too big. All right, my goal is to get done with this side at least. It's looking pretty good, I think. Um, I asked for you guys' opinion, you guys. Um, uh, you guys said it was pretty awesome. I believe you. But I want to get the I do want to get the side done complete and looking good. Cuz I do want to get um outlaw run done fairly quickly here pretty soon because I'm ready to move back up to the regular save and actually get that going so we can get the rest of the park going. And hopefully move on to Thunderation pretty soon as well. I think I'm going to make Thunderation in the save itself rather than like this. Um, I don't know how many things we're going to do it like this, you know, where I kind of... Oh gosh, I messed up over here. <laughs> Went through the roof. We do not want to go through the roof. Sweet! All right, we're in two the two-hour mark at the moment. 
I expected this to be a pretty long stream, so... I was not expecting to be a short stream. And then I still have to make a video for tomorrow as well, so that's another thing I, I have to get done. But there was certain things I wanted to make sure I got finished here. Like 100%. I forgot about this part. This is actually an interesting section that um, I didn't implement that I actually can change. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Okay, so this is good. Now there's actually a nice little thing going on here that we're going to implement. Um, there's a little bit piece coming out this way kind of like so and then uh, let's see what these look like here there's actually quite a large bracket piece and I mean very large kind of like this it almost looks exactly like this except it's the green like the washed out green I think I'm going to use it and it's actually located around right here hmm uh, maybe I actually might use blocks for this to be honest it's a more blocky than anything so I might I, be able to create it a little bit easier with these. At least I think so. Why did you turn off? <laughs> Alright, make these about even. Excellent right there. And now we're gonna want to create a uh, piece that goes from here to down there. And to do that, I'm actually just going to use this and pull it out. It'll be a lot simpler. Whoops, I just wanted, should've just grabbed one. All right, make sure this is even on top. I actually might change the color of these as well because they are not that green. So what we're gonna do is do that real quick now. I'm gonna change this green to a washed out color, kind of like the rest of them. And to do that for the other ones as well. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit of sun glare that got in, and that's kind of making me upset a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do is take this. And I'm going to do my best to create... The brackets. Uh, actually I actually have a better idea that might actually work a little bit better. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, maybe this one will work. But it is white and you can't change the color of it. <sighs> Why is that my life? Why must that be a thing? You can change the color of this though. Um, dun, dun, dun. I just don't want it going through the wall like that one is. That's kind of what I'm trying to avoid right now. If I had like a large bracket. Or a larger bracket. 
That would be very nice as well. Um... Let's just do this. Uh, actually, that might not work either very well. I'm, I'm thinking details a little bit too much right now. <laughs> That's the main issue I'm having right here, is I'm just kind of overthinking it, I think. I think. <laughs> oh, definitely not that one. Um, we'll come back to this. Uh, just it, we, we acknowledge that it's there, so um, that will be nice. All right, so what I'm going to do now, do control X, make sure we got the right one here. These are actually pulled out just a little bit on the top layers here. Interestingly enough, and it's just kind of like this across on the top. Just kind of kind of cool, kind of interesting. Alright, so... There's also, like, an air unit right under this as well. Um, so we'll try and get that in there as soon as we can. These go all the way down to these little blocks right here. Kind of like this. Don't want you going through. Ah. I did not think that through at first. But that's okay. Um, it should actually get covered up, so... Not a big deal going on over there. Alright, so that's going to go right there. Then this can go right here. Quite nice. Nice, 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 nice. And this is kind of an open area except for the top part. So we're going to go in here, choose the smaller one. Alright, we are almost done with this side. We are so close. So close. Alright, I'm going to leave that open because it does have that angle to it. That we will add. All right, and then the end piece. Go ahead, go ahead and get the longer spot, the longer one. All right, like so. Okay, maybe not. I, I guess I didn't want to, did not want to work there. Did not want to work with us. All right, we're going to go ahead and cover this section up as well. We're, doing, we're going pretty good. We're going pretty good. Now, the main issue I have so far... Going into this section, this should not be this tall at this point. 
That's kind of the issue. I'm kind of heading into this piece right here for the bridge. Because this floor should be like just under that, uh, under this section. And this should be going, it, it actually goes up to this part. And instead, this is actually lower than this. So we're having a little bit of some pur 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 proportion issues uh, in that regard, unfortunately. But look, we got the first wall of the station up, and that look, that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> of course, we'll get the roof on as soon as we can, but I kind of want to get it done with the, uh, the walls themselves a little bit more, and then we'll add the walls, uh, the, the roof. I'm going to kind of do what I did uh, at the depot entrance here is kind of use these um, wooden planks and make them look like they're actually metal in a way so we're starting to get the roof on the, the areas and uh, it's starting to look very more completed <laughs> thankfully that's very good now I kind of want to look over here uh, while I'm kind of looking uh, at the moment we're going to look over at the uh transfer track if I can find my reference photos of that because I took a picture of the transfer track as well and um, it's looking quite nice Let's see if I can zoom in on some details here and see if I can't add on to this just a little bit more to make it look a little bit better because right now it doesn't it looks okay but it doesn't look the greatest in the world and as for this fence this fence will go around over here and actually cut under at this point um, I actually took a picture of that as well of where that fence goes <clears throat> which is which is quite nice quite nice quite nice I also want to make sure um, we're gonna create where the train track is actually gonna go under it'll come under here go that direction so the train tracks will fit make sure they fit uh, properly in their spot as well all right so there's a couple of details on the transfer track here that I don't uh, don't know how I'm gonna make um, I might come back to that as well um, as for the terrain here it's not too bad. I think we did a good job on that. We're, it's not going to really matter here, obviously. <clears throat> but there's actually wood chips in this right here. And to make wood chips, it's kind of a diff kind of an interesting little way to do that. I usually uh, the way I figured out to looks the best is you can use the uh, kind of the dirt, rocky dirt here, and then make sure your intensity is down very, very low, and then go back to kind of this nice grassy texture, and then just kind of tap in around it to where it doesn't take over, but you still get that rocky texture a little bit, that dirt texture. You usually may use that for color, and... It actually looks, you know, it's grass, obviously, but it kind of looks a little bit like wood chips from a distance, and that's kind of the idea. I mean, it's grass, but what are you going to do? I mean, kind of from a distance, that grass looks pretty good uh, for wood chips, but... You might just use that texture overall. I mean, I don't know. But you kind of want the rocks to come through and kind of get that color of that grass. And it kind of creates a nice little... Now, if you can get it perfect, it kind of create, kind of makes it look a little bit more... Um, like wood chips. <laughs> so yeah, that's looking quite nice. Uh, what was I going to work on next? There was a certain area I was going to work on next. But I cannot put my finger on it of what it was. But I'm glad we, we've made some pretty good progress. 
Oh yeah, I kind of want to do the work on the entrance a little bit more up here. Because I got some good photos of um, this around here and kind of work a little bit more on path work. Just a smidge. <clears throat> so I'm going to get to that. Let me get to that reference photo real quick. I'm going to find that reference photo. Uh, they're over here. There we go. All right, so I got a good reference photo of this right here, of this uh, little platform thing. So it actually goes about right there, and then it actually... We're going to do this. Uh, pretty much at a 90-degree angle, we'll go this direction and connect it right here. So we're going to build this down. In that nice fashion and build this over and uh, even that out just a little bit and cool it actually might be just a bit longer let's see the benches uh, maybe not I might actually be able to make it just a bit shorter to be honest um. Alright, so there's that, and then there's another section here. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a, li li make this a little bit shorter. Like that. Move this over just a little bit. There we go. All right, so we can ha we need to fill this up kind of with some dirt and stuff like that. That would be how that's going to turn out. So this is going to be the little wood chipped area as well. And we got to create... There's actually a bench that goes right here, and then there's another kind of planter that goes over here as well. Let's see if... Did I get a good picture of that? Mmm, that might be the only picture I got. Which isn't a bad picture, I just kind of wish I would have got another angle on that one, but... Um, so this is gonna go... Uh, actually gonna continue... On over here, this back one. It's gonna continue this way. The only thing is, is this is a little bit long, I think. It actually only needs to be about one long. So I'm going to go press X here. And we're actually going to angle this more to fit. I thought that kind of looked a little weird, and it did. All right, so we're going to take this and push X. Okay, apparently I missed a piece. <laughs> going to push X, and we're going to get that about where we want it and rotate it to the proper spots. Because nothing is entirely straight uh, in this regard, in this part. So... That's a lot better. Because this will go straight across right here. Oh gosh, I just hit the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> and I got a message. Who is messaging me? <laughs> That's actually really funny. I wish you guys could see that. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Alright, that's going to go there, and this is going to be at a slight angle. Creating the next piece of the puzzle. i got to make sure I'm in proportion with this as well, 
I don't want to go too far. It actually goes out. We're actually doing really good on per where this is at, actually. Quite nice. This is kind of an outline, and then we're going to actually have to texture this one just a little bit different. Alright, now it's going to it come around here. Let's see if the next photo... Alright, that will actually help a little bit. And then this next piece should be about like this. At least I think so. No, I did that. Did I do that completely wrong? Or did I? No. No, we're good. Because then this will actually... Go like this, and then this would go... A little bit this way. And I gotta go back to my other picture. Because it's gonna go back and connect to that over there. It's gonna connect to that. I feel that's a little bit narrow, but. I think it'll be alright. Because then we have... So it does go a little bit in front of the wall there. Uh, so that actually will turn out quite nice. Hmm. I have seen some fantastic dark rides lately from folks. So it is definitely something that um, <laughs> people are good at. Or I've definitely seen some really good ones. That is for sure. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to work on next. I, I could keep working on this. I'm very, I'm very bad at, like, I always go, like, back and forth from different areas. Um, that's just to try and keep me from <laughs> getting bored, kind of, in a way. Not that I necessarily get bored. Alright, this is going to be our strategy here. I'm going to click this and split from building. And I'm going to move you. Because we want to fit you in there perfectly like that. So you, so you fill that up. And um, let's change your height there a little bit too. There we go. Perfect. And then there's actually a bench right there. And that's where that goes. So what we're going to be doing is we're... All this, um, all these concrete slabs or roofs, rather, this, these are all going to be gone. And uh, once I'm finished, I'm using them as a guide at the moment. They will not actually be there uh, when I'm actually finished because that's actually a wood chipped area here, and it's going to be using. Uh, it's going to be natural. There's not any natural queue lines, are there? That's going to be. Kind of difficult. I could make it to where it's not actually real at the same time as well. That's also an option. Ooh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions. But as we click on here, we can see there was test results. Um, the track scenery rating's high. I don't know how. There's not really any scenery around it unless it's counting all the building that's 
at the uh, there, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, as you can see here, 2,923 feet. If you look up the actual length, it is 2,937. Am I right? Yeah, two, 2,937 feet of track. I could be slightly wrong there. But I'm pretty sure that's right. Alright, so one thing I wanted to work on is a little bit of the 153 because it needed just a bit more smoothing to it. It was a little rough. We don't want rough. Because it's actually a very smooth transition in real life. And I made this exactly 153 degrees. Except it messed it up there. <laughs> don't you dare bank that more. And I also made the block break where it stops on the, about right there. I actually may make it just a little bit more. And it actually does kind of does that little turn. Of course, we don't have the regular RMC trains, so that could affect a lot of stuff as well. I mean, I could use the iBox track, but that wouldn't be very realistic as well. Now, the lift itself, I've explained this, is 107 foot feet from the base of the lift hill, but the base of the lift hill is 10 feet. So it still is a 107 foot lift. Just so that everyone's clear if anyone um, actually realizes that. I think this actually is just a little bit of a longer set of piece of track right there getting into the lift. And I think that's why I've had a little bit of proportion um, issues slightly. But it's looking quite nice. Now here's the thing, I'll go ahead and do the POV, I know a lot of people probably want to see it anyways, um, but it is not smooth yet, so just keep that in mind, the POV is not smooth. Um, I'm working on different sections at a time, um, because I haven't bothered smoothing them because a lot of the stuff I'm going to go back and actually completely change the way it is. So there's still a lot of things to work on here. That is for sure. <laughs> so let's get the show on the road. POV time. Oh my gosh. What is going on with OBS? OBS just like glitched out a little bit. And I don't mind showing this POV because it is, it is so unfinished. <laughs> just so you know. Because the ride is pretty, uh, pretty incomplete at this point. Because <clears throat> I do have to work a lot on the layouts, but my treat to you to show you the where, where it's at. But uh, like you said, it'll probably lag like it, uh, anyways. So um, it's not moving yet. That's right. I put a delay time on it so they won't go out until the other train is back. I apologize if it is laggy, it doesn't matter because it is a pretty rough ride anyways because it's not completely smooth. The barrel roll needs a little bit more smoothing and work on it. And the 153 was pretty rough and uh, I don't know if any of the smoothing I did helps it at all, but... Alright, propel you off the first drop. What? And it's actually 162 feet, exactly. Yeah, that's a little bit smoother. I gotta work, a, rework that a little bit. Like I said, it's not gonna be smooth. I gotta rework this part a little bit as well. The wave turns a little bit better since I reworked it. And then the barrel roll is just a nightmare because it is not even close to being smooth. It is way better. It's actually not too bad right now. It is pretty close, I think. You know, it's not too far off. Um, just a couple of adjustments, and I think it'll be pretty good. But after a couple of adjustments, it should be pretty, pretty darn close. And I think this is looking fantastic. 
Like, I'm pretty excited for this. And uh, from the looks of the stream, it didn't actually really lag. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Here we go. I put the little cowboy there because they do dress like cowboys. <laughs> And that's actually where Unload Dispatch stands. Man. This is looking pretty awesome. Pretty sick. But, um... A couple inaccuracies that I don't know if I can really fix. Um, because it's 162 feet um, at an angle of 81 degrees. But the game still puts it at 70 miles an hour. It's a 68 mile an hour coaster, so that's its top speed. But it put it at 70. I mean, you know, who's going to be, be all offended if it's two miles an hour faster? Uh, because uh, this ride, you know, is pretty fast anyways. But <laughs> um, <clears throat> it is pretty fast. Um, but I think 70 miles an hour is fine because there is a little bit more friction in playing a coaster. So it does kind of slow down a bit anyways um, in the ride. But it, it's, it stays at a pretty decent speed, I think, through most of the ride itself. And it's not too bad. So it looks it's looking pretty good. But overall, the layout is is really shaping up, I think. So, I'm pretty excited for that. But, uh, number in versions 3, that's correct. Biggest drop, 162 feet, like the real drop itself. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty proud of that. And, you know, as proportions, I think it actually looks pretty accurate. Um, the steepness of the drop, 81 degrees. Um, it looks steeper at in real life in angles, but I've, been, I've seen other angles of it, and it actually is about like this it may have smoothed it when I smoothed the drop out it may have pushed it to a maybe an 80 degree drop but yeah and, you know it drops down into the valley you got the 153 degree outside bank turn and one of the biggest noticeable spots is I wanted to smooth this turn right here a lot more doesn't seem too fluid there we go it's a pretty tight turn here too and you're going at that high speed the biggest in it needs trees but I'm not going to add them because um, this is going to be the I'm going to do that when I import it into the save uh, the actual recreation itself I'm literally just doing this to get the outlaw run section complete and then I can literally piece this all together into one um, thing. So I'm going to save the design and save everything as blueprints. And then I'll put it into the actual one. So um, I'll actually put the trees and stuff. That I'm not going to focus too much on the terrain as well. Um, obviously I had to mess with it a little bit simply because we're working with Silver Dollar City here. And um, these rides are pretty ridiculous when it comes to terrain. But... Um, yeah, uh, things like trees and stuff and terrain, I'm not going to worry about, um, as of right now until we get into the actual save. It's still going to be a challenge to piece this together and get that all correct. That's going to be kind of a fun thing to do, an interesting thing to do. It's starting to look pretty more complete, a lot more complete. I'm very excited. Pretty excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. Like, I'm, I'm having so much fun recreating this park and um because it's so good it's so good <laughs> there's actually a cover over the stagecoach now that I, I need to build i actually took a picture of it as well we'll get into that but <clears throat> there's actually it actually has a cover over it now because they uh it was starting to get damaged from like weather and stuff so they decided to change that now this stagecoach i got from the steam workshop so i can't take credit for it but I'm going to make a little bit, a uh, couple changes to it myself, personally. Um, so. Uh, because it's not exact, um, but it has the colors and everything to it. And it looks pretty decent. Pretty good. And whoever did that, kudos to you. You did, you did a great job on it. Now, um, getting this little tent texture was kind of difficult as well. 
Um, I used the awning. The only downside to that is, as you can see on the inside, you're going to have all these side pieces from the awning on the inside. I'm making that sacrifice just to make it look better <laughs> from the outside. Again, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on exterior rather than interior. And these signs here, there's not actually anything on them uh, because I hope we get custom billboards eventually and that'd be amazing because I could actually put these on there. That'd be really cool. But anyways, um, this has been a great, great time and I, I worked on it longer than I usually do. I usually don't work more than about an hour and a half uh, in a regular episode. So I thought, you know, it's the 10th episode. This is what I feel like doing right now. I'm going to live stream it and it's going to be a lot of fun. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I still have to make a video for tomorrow, uh, which, you know, um, it's already 8.30 at night, and <laughs> I don't want to stay up too extremely late. So um, you guys rock, and I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream, and it's looking fantastic. Um, I think it looks pretty darn similar uh, to the actual thing, and um, I'm pretty proud of it for that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, am I going to make the interior of Grandfather's Mansion? I probably will. Um, not gonna lie. Um, for, like, certain things like that, yeah, I'll probably make the interior. Um, if I don't, I'll come back to it much later. Um, I want to make sure, you know, the exterior stuff is gonna be... Because I'm gonna be working on this a lot. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure, um, you comment, like, and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks so much and goodbye.